Subtraction of fractions is pretty much the same as addition of fractions, except you're actually taking away instead of adding. So let's look at some examples. I'm going to look at some examples where the denominators are the same. In other words, the bottom number is exactly the same. I don't have to mess around changing any of the numbers because these two numbers are the same. I can simply take away the top two numbers. 7 elevenths, take away 3 elevenths is 4 elevenths. Let's look at a mixed number example. 5 and 6 sevenths, take away 2 and 5 sevenths. Again, I've got some whole numbers here that I can subtract, but I also have 6 sevenths, take away 5 sevenths. Because these two numbers are the same, the denominator is the same, I simply take away the top numbers. So 5 subtract 2 gives me 3 whole ones, and 6 sevenths take away 5 sevenths, simply 1 seventh as an answer. Sometimes when subtracting, we do have a problem where there's not enough of the fractions to take away. Here's an example. Four whole ones take away one whole one, I won't have a problem there. But two fifths subtract four fifths, and that's going to be a problem. If you notice that, and you can't take away the two small numbers at the top, you're going to have to convert one of these whole numbers to try and make yourself some more fractional parts. Now remember, if I turn one whole one into fifths, I'll get five fifths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of one of my whole ones, so I just have three whole ones, and I'm going to take that whole one and turn it into some extra fifths, five extra fifths. I've already got two, so that'll give me seven fifths altogether. I write down the second part of my question, completely unchanged, but now I've got a sum that I can do easily. Three subtract one is two whole ones. And 7 fifths take away 4 fifths is 3 fifths. Remember, if you see a fraction where you don't have enough fractional parts to take away, then change one of your whole ones into some more extra parts. Here I took one whole one and made it into an extra 5 fifths. So my 2 fifths were changed into 7 fifths.